Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aqua Design. Now, you don't need to be a marketing whiz kid to know that with January comes all the ads, um, the, the ad campaigns, whether print, TV, online, whatever, um, from places like Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers. So diet solutions. We also know that January is traditionally the time that all the fitness equipment and gym memberships are pushed, pushed, pushed. Because people have indulged over uh, December probably, and now is the time to, to uh, sort of nail people when they're at their weakest and vulnerable and feeling inadequate and wrong in their own skin. So... The other thing that, that comes with the beginning of the year is um, the need to organize. And I was just looking at some Boxing Week flyers because I'm taping this ahead, of course. And I see that all the, all the totes, you know, the, those plastic totes that, you know, can be 63 liters in volume or whatever. All kinds of organizational stuff is on sale <coughs> so there's the red stuff you know the tall uh, you know canister well not canisters but the tall uh, one for your rolls of christmas wrap the sectional ones for the uh ball the baubles the tree ornaments um uh, there's another uh, there are other options for storing your artificial tree and on and on ad nauseum so, I believe that there are also going to be lots of videos about organizing. Now, most of us can't afford to wait until January to get organized. So, I think most of us try to do it periodically throughout the year. Um, but, as I was working on the um, junk journal January 2024 prompts I was wasting a lot of time looking for papers you know because typically the first uh, thing a person would do is lay down a background of some sort so as I was digging through my <laughs> this is one of those um drawers you know one of those michaels things i can't even hit the bottom here to measure it okay so this is one of the five inch deep drawers so you can see almost near the top so i was digging through this and it took time and it was wasting precious time um <coughs> so i thought perhaps you would be interested and maybe, you know, got a turkey hangover or something and, and don't really feel too motivated to do anything. You just want to stay in your footed pajamas, um, drinking a cup of cocoa, eating a bonbon, that maybe you would be interested in how I intend to change this chaos into something more organized. Now, I bought these bags, and I think I maybe showed them to you. This is called an Alvin Mesh Bag. They've been around since 1950. Uh, oh, Bloomfield, Connecticut. Uh, 10 by 13. Now, I bought a bunch of these when an Edmonton art store had them on sale in their, one of their catalogs. I have quite a, I think I bought, I, I don't know how many I have. I know I bought, when the price stayed uh, down, I bought 10, three, six, and I had a few from before. Anyway, some of them are filled. Some of them had, um, Christmas stuff in them when I was trying to keep uh, somewhat organized and others are in use. Now I had originally bought 
a bunch of this size, which is, okay, if they're calling this 13 inches, then obviously this is 13 inches as well. I think this is, it's also Alvin. I think this was called five by seven. Let's just see how they, how they actually name these or arrive at these sizes. So basically they probably don't count that first inch where the zipper is because anyway, that is immaterial um, to this discussion. I believe that these were sold as five by 13s and for some purposes, these are ideal. If you want to store a full eight and a half by 11 paper, um, or a 12 by 12 sticking out, this would be the size to use. So anyway, what I thought, okay, let me just pull this monster thing in again, is that I would sort the, the well, I've said it a hundred times, but color makes uh, the most sense to me. This would not be good. So I'm going to set those aside. I just wanted you to be aware of them. Um, these fit in nicely, but of course they're not going to enclose the bigger things. Now this presumably is scrap, so there shouldn't be any really big pieces in there. But my intention is going to be to begin sorting these by color. Now, when I find, are we still, oh, see, that was okay. I got a text, but it didn't stop the video. I forgot to put it on uh, Do Not Disturb. Um, but is it going, hmm. anyway, I will take a chance and keep going. Um, I am going to begin sorting things by color. And the reason these things came in handy is last, like in 2023, I started taking part in the, what was it called? Color Combo, hashtag Color Combo 2023. And that was put on by Tammy at Lou Fru Fru. Um, I hope she does it again because I absolutely love that. But then, of course, things got in the way. Anyway, enough talk. Let's begin. Now, if you watched, I'll just take a bunch of things out. And I'm going to be making piles. And, of course, you're not going to be able to see everything. Uh, and I see that I have six by six papers in there. I have scraps off. Uh, you know, maybe 12 by 12 paper. And you will recognize some of these items from the, like so, um, from the uh, Jan uh, Junk Journal January um, video that you've either seen or will see. Now, sometimes I have another drawer just with strips. Now, is this a strip or is this, does this belong here? I don't know. This is going to be a very rough first go at this. So this, oh, see, this came in some, in a fundraising letter today, but I'm keeping it here. This is a napkin. Should this napkin be with paper? Mm, maybe not. This is a book page. It belongs there. These are, you know, whatever size this is. Four and a half by what? Six and a half. So these are papers. Now, you'd think those would be with my... Um, you know, those small pads, but apparently not. Should I even be saving this? Well, at this point, let's say yes. Look, it. <laughs> if you watch the video where I was talking about 
guess the number of gummy bears. This this was the larger size of onesies that we had for my first grandson's baby shower. Oh, there are a number of all the ladies that were invited. The names are on there. Um, I'm thinking this is narrow and it should be in another drawer. But we will see how this unfolds. This is probably going to be more like a neutrals page. This is from, oh, aren't these colors great? This is from a scrapbooking pad. I love this. Well, let's start a blue pile. This is from real, some really old wallpaper. And I can't seem to let go of it. Um, so I should have made a little more room, perhaps. But again, you're not going to be able to see anything. You're just going to hear me talk about it. So when there was a, a Lou Fru Fru thing on, you know, maybe the, the color of the month was uh, uh, some, some yellow or some orange, then obviously I had, uh, I'm going to start green. I um, would take one of these nar or shallower, narrower pouches and put in some colors for that month into a pouch. And then I had, you know, I'd gone through the, I'm going to have red off to the side here somewhere. And see, and I do things like this. I clip things together thinking that, well, they're going to be neater. Well, these were some pages that I used in the tree journals. Oh, I had also, uh, what do you call that, dyed that with purple cabbage. And again, you know what? I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm changing horses midstream. I'm For now, I'm going to put any of the whoops any of the really narrower strips let's say less than two inches in another pile because that's probably going to continue to be in um another drawer so i have something like this where i was cleaning a brayer off Maybe I'll put that on the side for the time being. This is like a card that should be altered. Mm, this is trouble. I'm going to put some things aside that are maybe a little confusing at this point. And maybe I'll put this up here out of reach. Yellow. Now these were lovely borders, all in mauve. Here are some digital pieces. So we're going to have mauve and purple together. Now why is something like this here instead of in the smaller drawer cardboard packaging? You know, sometimes I think I just threw stuff in there because it was easy. <laughs> now, these are bigger sheets. I'll go through those later. Uh, more of the same. Honestly, I have a makeup sponge here. That has, I can't tell you how many times it's fallen on the floor. Why do I not get rid of that? Uh, okay, blue. Oh, hey. 
Those are stickers. Is that not cool? But let's keep it with the blue for the time being. Blue. Purple. Blue. This is beautiful, especially that sign. Blue. Blue. See, if you didn't know your colors, if you're just learning your colors, you've tuned into the right video. Okay, we're calling this one brown, and we're calling this one, what does that say? That's, a, that's We're calling that blue. This is a book page. We're going to make book pages somewhere else. Uh, now, an organizing expert would say, do not, like, get, make your decisions quickly. I don't know if I'd ever use this side. I like, well, I'm doing brown. Calendar, now this is kind of glossy. Should I even be saving it? Hard to know. Um, I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and throw this out. How's that? Now, I should also, I think what I'm also going to, oh, is that a mistake? You know what, when I want cardstock for um, punching or backing cardboard, I put it with that with brown. I tend to reach into a thing with cardstock, not into. Um, if I want to stamp, punch, whatever, back something, I reach into the cardstock pouch, not um, th this drawer. So maybe it's maybe it makes more sense to keep the car the solid cardstock pieces together. And I can, you know, sub, uh, this is an ideals page. Yeah, that's movie, so let's put that there. Although, I wasn't really including book pages, was I? You can see the quandary. Red. Cardstock. Oh, I need a black and white pile. This will be off to the side. Uh, gift wrap. This should be with my fonts. What is this? Blue. Now something like this is more like a, yeah, I'm gonna keep my solids, mind you. No, I'm keeping my solid card stocky, heavier weight stuff together. This is just, who knows what kind of paper that is. All we know is it's red. Trying to be quick about this. Oh, this is a prototype. That's going to turn into a video, people. Um, now, this is not cardstock, so let's put that with the orange. This is kind of awful. <laughs> this is awful. Mind you, it could be a signature page. Let's just do that. Turn it into a signature page. Oh, uh, start a new pile for that. Purple. Now, of course, these bigger sheets. Let me just show you. If I were to put them in here, and maybe I should, then I could have a little more space in my desk. They are going to obviously protrude. I only have three of these at the moment, so let's get some of the bigger piles off this desk.
Now, um, I'm sure there are some of you out there that don't have nearly as chaotic a situation as I do. And I'm sure there are some of you that have gazillions more pieces of paper than I do. Uh, I don't see my card stock um, pouch nearby, so I'll just throw that on the floor and make a new pile. I uh, wonder if we're going to end up with enough, or let's do green. I'm sure there's more green. To okay. Keep going. Look at this. A whole wad. I don't have it. Okay. That should be with Christmas. Who knows what that should be? We've got brown happening over there. This is, we're going to call that a neutral. Oh. I would say I would more likely use these sides. So we're going to call that blue. And I think I might just for ease of um, separation. Let's put this with purple. I'm going to, if I come across any teal, maybe I'll put gray with the black and white. How's that? And if some of the categories become too big, I don't know. See, these, I think, belong in a category of their own. Like, use them up. I'm going to start a section there. Okay, so yellow. Now, these are more... You know what these are? They're duotang covers. So, they have that pebbly feel to them. And I obviously cut out some red. Uh... This was a cover of something. So this is a neutral. So I'll put that. I can't get to that right this minute. I'm putting those die cut things here. So that's black. I mean, that's cardstock. Look what a gorgeous color that is. Cardstock. This is wrapping paper. So I'm gonna keep this with the blues. I'm throwing this in the yellow orange pile. Um, this is a bit of a, an anomaly right now, so I'll just put it aside with the don't know pile. Now this, I have some of this these Scrabble letters in the yellow, but maybe I should put the Harlequin design or the Argyle design in with the uh, blues. Oh. I've got a little pad of papers here. Well, let's put them where they belong. Put that with the yellow-orange. Mm, let's put that with neutrals. This is a gift bag I took apart because I love the collar. The collar. Oh, I love this so much. Um, that's a book page. Now, these are some things that I had done on cardstock with ink. I'm putting these with the little skinny strips. Deal with that another day. Neutral, blue, purple. I guess if I've committed to doing either elastics or clips around things, uh, if I'm committed to doing this by color, then I should. That's green. Boy, that gingham almost gives me a headache with that design. 
Okay, but these are strips. I'm going to come up with a, a video for strips. So, oh, look, even narrow, narrower ones. So this we will just keep together for the time being. And then when I do that video, maybe before I do that video, I will have pre... Oh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of a quandary. It's cardstock. I don't know what to do with these. I... I think I should go put them with colors. And if I decide that I want to do something with strips, I can still look through the colors. To decide You know, if I need strips for a particular idea, I would still probably have the color making the be the determining factor as to what I use. So we'll keep this with red. This. This is orangey yellow. This is... We don't really have anything with pink. Mind you, I could use that for my current project, so. And that one as well. This is Moby. This is over there. This is yellow. This is, let that be yellow. These are gray. This will go black there, gray, um, blue. Can't pick anything up. Uh, okay, purple. This was what? Are these all yellow? Okay, so put this with the purple. I hope my husband is there to grab that. Okay. Hopefully he grabs that phone. Grab the phone, man. Oh, line in use. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll go back to these strips. It's just like when uh, news anchors are not supposed to wear certain colors on TV because it does weird things with the camera. So these, that's how I feel about that gingham. It's like an optical. It's green, red, green, 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 green. These are all white. Now white, oh, maybe I'll keep it with black for the time being. Purple, weirdo. <laughs> Do you have a pouch for weirdo? Maybe that should be neutral. Okay. Keep going. I'm not even halfway through this drawer. Now these are book pages, but okay, that's going to be a neutral. It's going to be black and white. That's going to be black and white. That's black and white. Let's pull out a bunch more of this stuff. What is this? Garbage. Blue. Blue. 
neutral. Ay, ay, ay. Orange. This is out of one of those uh, Walter Foster things, you know, where it's got the designs in or the progress shots of a piece of art. So this is virtually all text. So I'm going to just throw that aside. So that we could call that collage fodder if we wanted to delude ourselves a little more for a little longer. Dinosaur Provincial Park. So that's script as well. Oh, here's something from that little lapis. That's purple. Oh, this is gorgeous stuff. Why am I not turning? Okay, stationary set. Um, I'm going to put this aside, turn it into a signature page. Here's some yellow. Yellow. Book page. Book page. Let's let's be brave and throw this out. And this skinny thing and these little things. Um I'll throw that with book page. That is probably the start of a sky or something. Mm, I don't know about that. See, that was a cowardly thing to do. That's a book page. Somebody must have started something there. It wasn't me. Uh, we don't really have anything with pink, do we? Goodness, let's start a pink thing, maybe right there. More book page. That's some kind of special paper. I'll put it with that. That will go with the cardstock. This is more of that. What are the is this called? Joss Joss paper? You know that thin Chinese stuff? That they make them. You know, with the gold squares on it. Something I think about prosperity. I don't know. I could be I could be mistaken. Goodness knows it's happened before. Now again, you would think to yourself, well, what is the point of keeping it? However, when we are working on the junk journal January, we know that, or at least in my case, I'm working on very tiny. Um, very tiny little pages. So, of course, I just need... Oh, see, this is just... Oh, that's... Okay, this is just paper out of my paper stash. I've got millions of sheets of that. This is obviously stationary. We'll put it with the green. That's orange. I already feel a little more organized. Uh, Japanese writing, I think. Pink, pink. Blue, green, blue. That's a light. These might work with my blush. Oh, isn't that hard on the eyes? Um, the thing, and I've said it before, the thing I really liked about, and this, my lovelies, is what happens when you have a plugged um, nozzle on your printer. I have quite a few of those boo-boo type pages. However, that can work as collage fodder. I'm going to call that green. What's this? 
remember this from yesterday? Or, well, you'll know what I mean if you watch that video. Okay, we're going to call that pink. We're probably going to call this pink. This is another misprint. Now, I think I was trying to salvage them. And I, it seems to me I did that in a 100-day video where I spritzed digitals from my... Um, okay, I have only an inkjet printer. So I spritzed them with either coffee... We're going to call that yellow, uh, just to see what would happen. So on some of these, like this is one of my digital wallpapers. This is one that I love. This might be an Artie Mays. And you can see what it did. Now, since this, okay, we're going to call this pink, I think just because on this side it looks like oh wasn't she clever she made this stripey stripey design as opposed to the other side which looks like oh brother she didn't take care of her printer maybe we'll put this here as well with the pink because it's um this is one of my digital doilies uh, let's call that neutral. That is uh, also some of my cut work that I scanned. This we're going to call yellow. We're going to call that blue. 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 I love that. That's a digital of mine. Uh, blue. Gray. Garbage. This is that same. Look at how beautiful that is. Purple. Uh, black and white. We're calling this yellow, mm, white. So this is the pink pile. Oh, uh, look at this twelve. Love it. I don't know. Will this be a burgundy pink? I hope I have more burgundy stuff. Um, well, let's call that blue. Orange and pink. Home Sense tape measure. Red. <clears throat> Is one of this should be with a signature and stamped on it. Okay, blue, pink, pink, purple, purple. You don't, I'm not even nearly done. I mean, this is only the first half of the first drawer. Purple, but I am feeling. Uh, what does Marie Kondo's think? I'm feeling joy. I, that's blue, orange, and yellow. Oh, these almost feel like maybe I had them as signature pages because they're folded. Why, 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 what's going on here? Okay, so I'm just putting those aside because maybe I had a plan and it will come back to me. Don't do nearly enough mixed media stuff. So I'm going to. No, I had a... not within reach. Um, you know, one of those vertical sorting type things. That would be better than this 
stuff that keeps falling. More green. Burgundy red. That is a napkin. I love it. We're going to call. This is some mulberry paper. Oh, I bet you there was a pink prompt. Oh, look at that quatrefoil design. Green. Denim. Uh, I love this paper. Love this so much. We'll keep that with the blues. We'll keep these things as pink, I guess. This is some vintage wallpaper, so of course you keep every little morsel of it. What are we calling this? Ugh, let's keep it with the pinks for now. This is kind of an anomaly here. Ugh, we'll leave it there. This was an idea I needed to do something with, so throw that over there. Uh, that should be with my sentiments. It's like a, I don't know, is that a sticker? Probably not, but it's heavy, like cardstock or uh, chipboard, I mean. Butterfly, that's more like an embellishment. Am I still... Oh, no, I decided to keep these things because sometimes this, you know, lends itself to a, um, dangle or something like that. These came out of a fashion book and all the different chapters were sort of, oh, that's cute. That could be a signature page. See, when I do that, that's a signal to me to use it as a signature page. Uh, I think I put this with the gray. There's a wee speck of toile. That is red. That's red. That's a light pink. I can put that with my current, whoa, my current project. This should have been, oh, we'll call that side blue, pink, pink, red, red, blue. Oh, I said maroon would be with the pink, so... That might be packaging. Isn't that great? That's red. Pink. Oh, that's almost mauve in comparison. Look at this. That's. Uh, I should put that with that other, with that butterfly. Oh, do you remember when I bought these? Uh, um covered coffee filters well the coffee filter has been taken off here and then i okay neutral and blue i was determined to use those darn things yellow yellow okay this can probably lend itself to my current project see how mad would i have been at myself if i found these things after so you can see that the person had used a glue runner to uh, glue these papers to the um, 
to the coffee filters. And that was what the result was when I took it apart. So, okay, choose up here. I'm going to put this stuff with my current project just because I may be able to. Oh, that is awful. Uh, use it with the current project. More of this. Love it. I could happily, well, I do live with this color. The purple, orange combo. Here's some mulberry paper, kind of in burgundy. Some header strips from paper pads. Some little tiny people. Let's keep that there. Oh, I know. I cut apart a stamp uh, collecting book. And I was using... I've used those over and over again in collages. You know, when you want something bleeding off the page, so we're sticking that in with green. I don't know, do I need, well, I guess I'll, oh, here's more green. Uh, toile, obviously black and white. This is heavy. Got those cute, I'll put that there. No, maybe I'll keep those bits of black because you know you don't really get that much black. Oh, this is scored. I wonder, did I do that or did I buy it that way? Some red. This is the inside of an envelope, obviously. I love this. This is, um, I had several sheets of this paper and I have now covered one, two different wooden sorting things. Throwing that black in the garbage. Um, putting these two over here. Ooh, that hot pink doesn't, isn't going to work there. Um, with this paper, I better put this aside because I have other scraps that I can, I should keep that stuff together. Uh, inside of a security envelope, that's cream. We'll just throw it in the gutter box. So do you see how this... Oh, I have green here. Do you see how this can be pretty fast? A lot of fun and pay dividends when a person is working on something. So, meeting that up. Okay, let's grab another fistful. Okay, I save these kinds of things. That can be with my current project, red. Oh, that's that. Okay, blue. Uh, we're calling, okay, this is pink. We're calling this green and this neutral. And that neutral, that could almost be gold, but I'm going to call it neutral, green, green, red, orange, that was green, cross stitch, so that's black and white, and that, could that be part of my, look, I'm putting that one in. This is neutral. Oh, I love this. Now, putting one in green, one in yellow. 
green. Now this has gray in it, but, oh, oh, I'm more likely to use these colors, so I'm putting that with blue, yellow, yellow, we're calling all this yellow. And some of these papers, oh, I did promise to show you the pages that I found from last year's, I think we'll call this mauve. Um, and we're calling this pink. And we're calling these green. I did promise to show you some of my pages. Um, maybe let's call that neutral. Show you some of my pages from last, from however many days of last year's uh, junk journal January I did. Okay, so green. Oh, I'm so glad I found these. We'll call those all green. Um, what's this? Calling this this. Uh, oh, look, copper. I'm going to put that with my purple just for that. Uh, I'm calling this orange yellow bunch and of course if i end up with more of these um these are blues if i end up with more of the i'll put that with black and white more of these shallower pouches and these end up being really bulgy or, you know, it takes too, too long to go through them, then I would, uh, divide, you know, divide them up into, into separate colors. I love this. But is this kind of weirdo for hanging on to that? Here's a menu. This should be with the burgundy pink. That's purple. Okay, what are we calling this? The back is green. Hmm. I think I'll call those neutrals. And I guess this is an, out of that Walter Foster thing as well. Orange. This was... Okay, this is blue. Oh. This should be in another place for collage fodder. This is too wild to try to... Sort. Do I have a pile for collage fodder? Let's start one. Blue, 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 blue. Let's put this with the orangey stuff. Pink, pink.
switched off. Blue. Green. Pink. I'm going to call that pink. Blue. This is really old. Uh, wrapping paper. Pink. Pink. That's from a book page. I mean, and paper. Um, yellow. Pink, pink. Pink. Pink is under here. That's red. That's garbage. Oh, I did a bunch of, okay, we're gonna call that neutral. I did a bunch of, uh, like there were so many of these lovely illustrations in a book. I made a bunch of pockets and Um, we're going to call these bits that are dyed probably neutral. Uh, what is this? We'll call that blue. And you know, your red your choice or your definition of color would be probably different than mine green green oh, let me take that apart that's okay well these are words why are these words here okay sentiments i have someplace over here a green, green, blue. I love this color combo. This was off a, um, a calendar pad. Another quote. <sighs> so I have lots of these. Um, what did I say? Green. Water. Wash water. We'll put this with the yellow. Mm, this is wrapping paper. Oh my god, that's hard on the eyes. Uh, okay, that's blue. This is yellow. That's also very old wrapping paper. <sighs> why, why, why did I keep all this? I think I have to get brutal here and start throwing some of these things out. Okay, black and white. Pink. Mm, neutral, neutral. This is a really old wrapping paper that I love. I should put this with my wrapping paper. Um, collage fodder. Okay, let's get brutal here. This is great, but what are we calling it? Um, we're calling these journal pages. How's that?
just like that. We made a decision. Okay, that is like a khaki green, so I'll keep that with green. Did I say green for that? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> I have these uh, wallies. I probably intended to cut those out. Maybe I should make a little pile for fussy cutting. Okay, this is out of an art book, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to throw these in black and white there, green there. Anything that could be called a neutral, I guess I'll put there. Neutral, black and white. Some of these, call that neutral. We'll call this orange. Call these neutral. Orange. Orange. Now that's getting close to the rust line, but uh, gray, blue, we'll call it uh, blue, lots of sentiment, that's gray, that's awful, collage fodder, Collage fodder, collage fodder, that could be a neutral, I guess. Most of it is neutral. Okay, then I have these calendar pages. I would say I'm going to separate them into their color families. So this is purple. I don't, I'm going to check the time because it, I feel like I'm going fast, but it could also be that I've totally lost my grip on time. Oh my goodness. It's been an hour, guys. Okay. Enough, enough, enough. Thank you so much for joining me made a pretty good dent in this bin. Some of these are big pieces, so they'll go a little faster. Um, anyway, I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I think, I hope, that I've converted you into believing, oh, look at that, Ooh. Um that this is a worthwhile exercise to go through. You know what could else what else could be a, a, a combination or a category is metallics. Yeah. Just talked myself into that. Okay, thanks and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.